down by the owner and replaced by a political sign. Um, so I had encouraged that, that artist as well, please write the owner and express your distaste um, that you know the agreement was that we would be hanging for a month and if anything were to change that we should be notified and then that we would work with the artist to get it down, etc. Because, for example, New Paltz is having a windows project and if anybody wanted to move their pieces, if it's touched by another person or if it's moved by another person, it might screw things up. Um, and I'm talking quite frankly. Uh, so these things kind of upset me. And I wonder that, did we dialogue enough with the business owners? Did we make it clear enough to the business owners that this is artwork and it should be treated as such, delicately and with sensitivity, since knowing that artists are sensitive individuals, and how does this um, affect the artist emotionally and professionally? Um, so if anybody wants to add to that, um, speaking from your own place, uh, if anything happens from your own place, Another couple things I want to add before we get into it. Mixture. Early on it said, yes, we'd love to be involved. I said, great. We'll find you an artist if an artist wants to work with you. And uh, Vicki had said, you know, I'd like to take place. And we, we, we agreed on Mixture. And I had contacted Mixture, I think it was a week or two before, and said, Vicki wants to, to put her work in there, and I'm going to hook you two up. And they had written back. Um, to me, almost surprised and discouraged, I'd say almost a little rudely, that, well, we thought we were going to do the windows. And it, that really kind of perplexed me, too. I thought my call was very clear to the businesses and the artists that we would assign an artist to you if they picked your spot. And I'm going to keep that the same next year, is that artists should be able to pick the windows they want to go into. Um, this gives artists the, the, uh, the bulk of the control, the bulk of the choice. Uh, a lot of our work is making choices, and I want that choice to remain solid. This is where I want my work, and, this, and I'll work with these people to make that happen. Um, so this problem arose where they thought they would be creating a display. And, and I, I wrote back something and said, how is this Windows on Main Street? How is this connecting you with an artist? If you're going to participate by doing your own windows, but you can do this 11 other months out of the year, what we're trying to do is assign an artist to you, and then to have a dialogue happen to get what you want and what the artist wants, and kind of have this copacetic understanding. So that was one example with the artist that wasn't negative towards you necessarily as the artist, but towards the organizers that, oh, well, we thought we were going to decorate. Um, and I'm not sure how that miscommunication happened. I'm not sure how any of these miscommunications happened, but I can say that as one of the organizers, I'm a bit upset that artwork was taken down without permission. It is their window, yes. But again, it kind of funked up the, the whole idea. And then again, with, with business windows thinking that, one, they were going to do their own displays. And two, other businesses thinking that they would immediately be assigned an artist. And I had to gently go in and explain to these businesses that if an artist didn't choose you, you don't get an artist this year. And unfortunately, you can't participate unless you want to be a sponsor. Um, so those were some of the issues we had as organizers with some of the businesses. Um, otherwise, I thought it was a successful event. Um, just these few upsets that really kind of rocked the boat for me. Um, Melissa, do you want to add anything to that as one of the organizers? Um, no, it was really great to, I mean, I focused really mostly on sponsorship and putting together the collateral, but, you know, just the way that certain businesses responded right away to the sponsorship idea was really impressive to me. Like, just really wanted to get involved and support and be, um, be part of the project, even, even when they didn't have a window. And sometimes they were a little disappointed that they didn't have a window. So that's something just maybe to keep in mind for next year to make more clear. Maybe. Or just ask, up, you know, I think just let them know up front the way that it works is an artist chooses the window. If you want to involve, we'll try to find an artist for you, which is I think how we, how we spoke to them about it. Melissa really is the one to thank. Um, if I was the facilitator, if you will, it was very simple compared to what Melissa did was asking for money, asking for sponsorships. Um, she really designed all of our, our look, all of our promotions, all of the posters and the windows. Um, 
our logo was all created by Melissa, uh, single-handedly, I might add. So without her, Windows would not have this beautiful, <laughs> organized look. Um, we wouldn't have the sponsorships that we ended up with, which, which really we, we pushed in these last few weeks before it went on to like try to, uh, we had no grants this year. It was, by the time Melissa and I took the project from Christopher Elbert, it was too late to apply for any grants, which usually paid for artist stipends and things of that nature. So um, it came down to uh, really Melissa reaching out to the business owners, uh, first sending out letters, then going door to door and talking to them and interfacing with them, and then finally getting the sponsorships and working with Baca to have them set aside. Um, we do have some thank you stipends that will be coming to you in the next week or so. I'll be emailing you all your addresses where you want to send, uh, send and the names that we should have on those checks. They're not much, but it's a thank you stipend. And really, you should thank Melissa for that. So she's the one who went out and got that in the last minute. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I had to give you a public thanks for the work you've done because it wouldn't have looked as well. She did all of the slideshows. She had her brother come up and do, do the filming, which we'll be able to uh, see online uh, in a matter of weeks. So, thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. That's an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. That's a real problem. <laughs> uh, so, I didn't mean to interrupt. If you wanted to add more. No, I, that's, I just wanted to say that that was really the thing that stood out for me is. Um, that's how quickly it was definitely a certain certain businesses that were just like right away, yeah, okay, we'll send you a check. Which just felt really good. Oh, there's we pushed a little bit more. <laughs> you know, but you know, next year it just will make it even easier next year. And then having all the the documentation I think is a critical part of um, getting people to understand that it's a big project, it happens every year, it draws people in, you get more publicity about it, the more people are involved, and it kind of get a little snowball effect going. Um, one of the things Ty and I were talking about this morning is adding a couple of new elements next year, um, like maybe doing um, a catalog at the end, um, like a booklet to either sell or hand out or use as a fundraising tool, um, and maybe doing years one to five as like sort of a big, a bigger book. And um, it just occurred to me now, I don't know what you guys think about this, but maybe um, for this last sort of event, maybe doing like a, an actual like art show like here like doing documentation if you guys document the work and then we can hang it on the wall and then have that up for like another you know four weeks or whatever that might be another way to sort of bring the visibility up for the, for the event there was um we had a great support from Baco, who was our fiscal sponsor in essence our bank but they also helped us with some advertising um, and Linda Hubbard, the president of Boston Wall, so is a co-owner of River Women's Gallery, uh, did a wonderful job on getting people out to see Windows on Main Street. Because that opening weekend, I mean, the street was just crowded with people up and down. There was a lot going on, but also, I think they were really out there to see the windows. Um, I know that we promoted it down at Dia for, for visitors. Uh, we hand out the flyer and say, go check out the windows on Main Street. This is happening now. Um, and I would see throughout the month people looking at the windows, actively engaged in the windows, which really excited me. Uh, so I don't know if you all saw any of that or any stories you want to share about the month, but you want to and also any issues that you might have had um, during the setup. Others. Free to express that. Right. Also, any critiques for us, any ideas you might have, or things that might make it easier for you as the artist next year. Um, anything that we could work on is organized. We'd like to hear that. So feel free. <laughs> now is your chance. <laughs>
I did at one point. They almost dropped.